Microsoft recently released a technology preview of their new Windows operating system that's meant to unify the desktop, PCs, tablets, phones, and even large screen televisions. This is Adam Lane from Pocket Now, and we're going to take a look at how this very early preview version is shaping up on the Surface Pro 3. There's nothing special about installing the Windows 10 Tech Preview. You simply run the setup program and it does it all. You should definitely create a recovery disk though, since a reset from within the OS probably won't get you back to Windows 8. On the Surface Pro 3, we're logged in right to the desktop environment with a new start menu. Now, at least in this preview, the interface difference between Windows 8 and Windows 10 is drastic. It's intended to be less of a drastic difference between Windows 7 and Windows 8 though. So that people who have been using the old start menu since 1995 will have an easier time learning the new UI. Of course, there are advantages and disadvantages to this backpedaling of the Windows interface. Firstly, the big advantage is that people who missed the start menus finally had it back. It's got two columns and recent programs list their recent documents again, but the second column can now be used for live tiles, and it's resizable with a click and drag of the top edge. That brings us to the second big advantage, universal apps. While in Windows 8, the new style of touch-friendly apps would only run in full screen modes or horizontally snapped sections, in Windows 10, they run as normal windows that can be layered over any other type of application in the same manner as all Windows programs have for over 20 years. Sure, it's not new or innovative, but it works and all graphical user interfaces for computers have followed the same design. Another new advantage is the task view. In Windows 8, the whole desktop environment was kind of treated as its own app. The task view for modern metro slash universal apps was accessed via swipe from the left edge or a mouse move to the upper left corner. In Windows 10, the new task view can also be accessed from the left edge via touch, but is no longer available from a upper left corner mouse gesture. That's unfortunate since switching apps used to take one click. Hopefully the final version of Windows 10 will take better advantage of the four corners for mouse interaction. The normal application windows work well though. They're far more flexible than the multitasking snapping in Windows 8.1. No longer do apps launch as a big colored box that bounces and tilts on top of a window border until you choose which window pane it should launch in. Now apps launch right away, as they should. When you do snap programs to different parts of the screen, the task view automatically shows up in the empty section, making it very easy for you to choose a different program to run next to the one you just snapped. It's very nicely done. There are some disadvantages in this Windows 10 preview though but certainly we can expect things to change as development continues. Firstly, the touch and pen interface suffers greatly in this version. It's about as difficult to use as when Windows XP was on tablets 12 years ago. There are no handlebars for resizing windows and the edges are very difficult to grab with a pen. Many of the edge gestures are gone too. You can't close apps by swiping down from the top edge to the bottom, and you can't access menus from top and bottom edge swipes either. There's a tiny little dot 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 button in the application title bars that shows a menu with options, but it's certainly not touch friendly. You can use that menu to switch universal apps to full screen mode as if they were running on Windows 8, but it's difficult to get back to that menu after that. The left edge swipe no longer quickly flips between open apps, but at least the charms are still behind the right edge swipe. Of course, the new slash old UI doesn't work well with 3D motion control devices either. If you want to, you can bring the start screen back. Most Windows 8 users will already understand the advantages of the full start screen, and most of those are still there. While this early preview is very fast and stable with all of the features that are there, if you're a Windows 8 tablet user, you're going to miss a lot of the touch-friendly usability features. Those enhancements are yet to be implemented, so you'll want to wait for those. If you're a desktop user with a mouse and keyboard, you're probably gonna love this Windows 10 preview. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to us here on YouTube. Until next time, this is Adam Lane, Adam Z-E-A on Twitter. Don't forget to let us know what you think of the Windows 10 preview in the comments, and thanks for watching.